Now let's develop our geometric intuition behind the partial derivatives. Consider the function f of x, y is equal to 1 divided by x and y. The first thing is, well, we want to draw the function to see what it looks like. And we'll just consider the function in the positive xy. Drawing our ticks. So each tick is one unit, or one. Now our starting point, since we can't plug in 0 for x or 0 for y, is going to be 1 half. So x is 1 half and y is 1 half. And when they're both 1 half, so it's 1 half and then I go out to here, and then I draw however many units above it. When they're both 1 half, the product is 1 fourth, and the inverse of 1 fourth is 4. So 1 half, 1 half, I go up 4 units. And that's the point, the first point that I've plotted. Now I'm going to fix y is equal to 1 half and consider the slice, or where, what that curve looks like on the slice, y is equal to 1 half. So now I set x is equal to 1. If x is equal to 1 and y is 1 half, then I'm at 2. So I go 2 units. Now if x is 2, then 1 over 2 times 1 half is 1 over 1, so I just go up 1 unit. And if x is 4, then I'm going to be at exactly 1 half. So I don't go, go up very far. And I basically have a swoop, kind of the inverse swoop picture, and I have a similar swoop in the y direction. And I also have swoops down to complete the sheet. So this is inverse swoops. And along this direction, I have a really deep swoop. It's a really deep swoop because I'm basically taking 1 over, if along this direction, right, x is equal to y. So I'm essentially taking 1 over x squared. So that's a much deeper swoop than 1 over x Okay, so now let's uh, consider the slice. Y is equal to 2. So this is Y. And our function then on that slice is f of x comma 2 is equal to 1 over 2x. Very simple function. And if we take our partial derivative, we've got df dx of x comma y is equal to negative 1 over x squared y, right? So I kept y fixed, and I just take the derivative of x to the negative 1 will give me exactly this function. And so df dx of x2 is going to be negative 1 over 2x squared. So we have this curve, and that's nice. And what is the derivative telling us? Right, so we have the curve where we've set y is equal to 2. What is the derivative telling us? Well, it's telling us the slope of this curve in space as we as we maintain uh, the fact that we're in the plane y is equal to 2. And so now let's consider what would happen at x1, right? So I have a curve, and that means I can have a tangent line to a curve, and I want to know what that line is in this space. So at 
x is equal to 1, we have f of 1, 2 is equal to 1 half. And we have df dx of 1, 2 is equal to negative 1 half. And we can actually write down, so x is equal to 1 is right here. We can actually write down the equations to the tangent line. So I want a tangent line that lives in this plane, y is equal to 2, and that passes through here and is tangent to the curve at that point. And so it has that slope. And there are two conditions, right? So I have uh, equations for the line, so non-parametric equations for the tangent line. And the first equation that I have, of course, is that y is equal to 2. And the second equation is that z is equal to, well, the slope is negative 1 half. I have to be at 1, and I'm going to hit the point 1 half when x is equal to 1. So I have plus 1 half. From this, I can also construct the parametric equations. for the tangent line, for the tan line. And what are, what are the parametric equations? We'll say L of t is equal to, well, it passes through the point 1, 2, 1 half here, plus t times well, I'm only moving in, whenever I move in the x direction, I go down one half units in the y, so I'm gonna put a one here, and of course, uh, well, in the z, and the y is gonna remain fixed, so I put a zero here, and so I have negative one half there. So I've got two ways of representing this nice tangent line to the plane there. It's also instructive to look at the uh, slices as, uh, as level curves. Right, so we're, we're not actually going to look at level curves, we're going to look at the slices in a 2D way. So you can draw this picture, you can draw this graph, where this is going to be my x, and this is going to be f of y, x, and go, I'm going to fix particular values of y. So say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4. The first thing I can say is, well, what if y is equal to 2? Well, if y is equal to 2, then remember I have 1 over 2x. And so if x is 1, then I have 1 half. If x is 2, then I have 1 fourth all the way down to, say, 1 eighth. And if x is 1 half, now I'm going to be at 1. And if x is a fourth, then I'm going to be at 4. Well, 2, rather. And it'll be 4 here. So I roughly get a curve that looks like this. And this is the f of x2 curve. And I can draw my tangent line as I normally would at the point x is 1. And it's going to have slope negative 1 half, so it, it hits there and there. But I can also draw the other level curves here, or the slices, and that can be very instructive.